And I just wanted to address your question also. One thing that I didn't point out is about the water quality on site, um, is the amount of cleanup that we've done out there. Dan touched on it really quick, but we've taken about um, $2 million worth of contaminated soils off of the site that were left there. So if we were to leave today, that site's already cleaner than it was before we started on it. So I didn't say that, and I meant to just add that to your water question. Thank you. Did I answer everything for you, Joe? Yeah. Okay. Chris, did you keep the mic? <laughs> <laughs> um, volumes of water that's going to be discharged over there is, um, is it going to be a large volume or culverts on the highway going to be able to handle the flow through there and all that? That's a really good question. So right now, the, um, the water balance, what we see is about 250 gallons per minute leave the pit right now. Through the alluvial material, we'll stop that flow. Our water treatment plant is uh, we're allowed to discharge 550 gallons per minute, but that analysis will all be done looking at those culverts. Do we want to go that high? Will we have to replace those culverts and increase the capacity of those? Definitely that's on the radar because I know that there was some basement flooding issues years ago down, down gradient of the wetlands there. So um, it's definitely something we're considering, but right now we do know that about 250 gallons per minute leave. Um, we expect water balance wise we have to discharge somewhere between that and 350 gallons per minute, um, but we're permitted to discharge it to 550. Well, I got you on the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> um, not too terribly long ago, Kristen, I think prior to you coming on board at Rio Tinto, there was a commitment made by Rio Tinto for the community to relocate the wetlands. Are you still planning on relocating that waterway? Well, it wasn't a commitment to relocate the wetlands, but to potentially divert the water directly to the river, which would prevent it from going into a ditch in the backyard. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you can address that. Uh, so you're still planning on that would water be part, diversion? That would be part of the study, what we're addressing here, is if, if, if we have a lot of water like that, and we find the water levels are too high, that's one thing we would look at. Is, is diverting some of that water from the wetlands straight north to the Escanaba River instead of allowing it to flow east. Yeah, so that would be that would be one option. You know, we would have to look at the different options we have if water became an issue on the north side of the pit. 